works. Let's just randomly catch a bus. Maybe number 93 or something like that. Where are you going, drive? Come on, all right, brilliant. It's a Bristol, but it made it first made July 62, I believe. So it's got an Albion four cylinder diesel engine in, five speed gearbox, David Brown gearbox. Not very good uh, range between the gears, but uh, it was okay for the time. The SU was a second attempt by Bristol Commercial Vehicles to produce a small lightweight bus and coach chassis. Two types were built, the short SUS at 24 foot and the long SUL at 28 feet. Both were narrow at 7 feet wide and produced from 1960 to 1966. Anticipating low demand, Bristol bought in many used components, a front axle from Kirkstall, a rear axle from BMC and a David Brown five-speed gearbox. The engine was a four-cylinder, 4.1-litre Albion EN250H, producing 72 horsepower at 2,200 RPM. 181 SUs were built, of which 38 were SUL coaches. Two went to United Welsh, the remaining 36 went to the Southern National and Western National Omnibus Companies. It was intended for day and half day tours for holiday makers in South Devon. They were also used to provide feeder services to the national network of Royal Blue Coach. When demand was high for coaches in the summer season, these coaches were called to go on further afield. London Victoria and Cheltenham coach stations were destinations for this coach. In the late 1960s, as there was less demand for holiday makers for tours, these coaches were demoted to local bus work in the South Harns area of Devon, calling at Dartmouth, Totnes, Kingsbridge, Sulcombe, Paynton and Plymouth. After it was withdrawn from Western National, the coach were exported to further use in Guernsey and after half a dozen years, Guernsey bus sold it on and it was re-imported to mainland UK. This particular bus appears to have worked in the north for an independent operator in the late 1980s before heading back to preservation. From 2009, its then owner spent a lot of time restoring the bodywork and interior with new Rexine interior and luggage rack netting and a repaint back into the Western National Tilling Green and Cream. In 2022-23, with much cosmetic work done, Pete was tasked with bringing the mechanical side back to a safe, legal and reliable standard. There are a few more jobs to do, like adding the original Western National Varnish transfers, and soon it will be looking as it did many decades ago. Is it comfortable to drive? Uh, not for someone tall like me, no. You need shorter legs, really. You've got to lift your legs up to try and get them on the pedals because I'm, I'm, you know, too long in the leg. So, Pete, you used to work in the coach industry. Yeah, yeah, left school, started working on coaches, got taught how to repair them and that. And over the years, I've got a name for working on older vehicles and hence the reason I had this vehicle come to me. So was it difficult to find some of the parts for this coach? Yes, yeah, some of the parts are difficult to find. Uh, what you can't find, you can usually get made which by local engineering firms. Did you used to drive as well as uh, as do maintenance work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been a coach driver as well, but mainly mechanic. How do you feel the coach drove? Well, if anyone refers to your videos, they'll see we've done one previously, and this was a vast improvement to drive. But it was lovely to drive compared to the other one that you filmed me in. And it was all double declutch. Double declutching, uh, yeah, when you're changing gears, because you're just going to get a lot of noise otherwise. And a little bit of sort of normal play in the steering. There's a little bit of play in the steering, but mainly in the box, that all the steering joints been checked and adjusted where necessary. So that said, Pete, what repair work have you done on this vehicle? All brakes been overhauled, I've, uh, all wheels have had new tyres and tubes fitted. As I said before, steering's been adjusted. Gearbox removed, new clutch fitted, um, every wheel cylinder been re sleeved, so everything's like new. Yeah, good bit of work then. And what a nice job you've done of it as well. I like to think so, yeah. 
So if you have a look at the windscreen wiper, it's literally this. It is tiny. And that's the size of uh, that's the size of a window. What's the view like, Pete? Good view. Good view. Better than some of the modern stuff. There's a lot of glass on it. it must make this bus quite heavy. Make it very hot in the sunroof as well. Like a greenhouse. Yeah. Yeah, because you haven't got much in the way of ventilation, apart from the roof lights. So, uh, yeah, there's no blown air, forced air heat, forced air in, no cold air, no no air conditioning. All very basic. This would have gone on tour, this coach. How many miles has it done, do you know? Can't tell you that. It's had a conversion to kilometres, so I've got no idea. And how, how true that is, I don't know. It should originally have a speedo in it, not a, not a tachograph. But because it was on commercial work, it had to have a tachograph in. 